Good evening, <clears throat> Senor West Coast. Hola, Mr. East Coast. How, How are we? I'm doing okay. Doing okay. Yeah. I'm ready to drink. How about you? I'm always ready to drink. With you. Uh, excellent. Ah, oh, well, you know, I'm, a, I'm just a, I'm just a, I don't know, what do you want to call it? Enabler. 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 That's what with I a capital am. N. Doesn't start with E? Whatever. Have Whatever. You, have, you been, have you been drinking? I have not yet. Okay, well, good. We're as far start. as you know. True. All right, so we are going to the lovely, 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 lovely southeast coast of Great Britain, right? Southeast? Southwest. Uh, sure. Southwest. Southwest, yes. Southwest think, coast. Yeah, of, and it's, is that like the Midwest, I think, more or well, less? Whatever. Okay, it's on the west. The western yeah. coast of Great Britain? It's, it's the California of... There you go. ...of the UK. Minus the sunshine and the forest fires and all that good stuff. Correct. Correct. They have, but they have beaches. So this is Pendarin, or as you would say, Pendrin, or as I, I would have said before being corrected by Sir Matthew Reese, Pen, Pendrin, nice but it's name Pendarin. Drop. Nice name drop. That bastard. <laughs> telling me, don't tell me how to say Pendarin. I'll say Pendrin if I want to. Yeah, he thinks he's Russian too. Oh, yeah, he does. He's a Russian, plain an American, plain a Welshman. He's confused. He's very confused. He's confused. But, he, but he, I understand he does like this stuff. He does. I think he, he does like does. Yeah, I think he's a fan now. It's a little taste of home. <laughs> so anyway, yes, we have a Pandaren peated single malt. This is from their gold range, I believe. Correct. And as you said, they have the gold range. And then what's the other range? The dragon range? Dragon range, yes, which is a couple points less on the scale. Which doesn't really make sense, in a way. I do not. No, no, I do not know why they do it, but they do. There's I mean, two. I understand, you know, the value of gold and all that stuff. But a dragon, wouldn't that be hotter? Yeah. That be, right? Totally, Mr. Game of Thrones. Exactly. See? And I don't even That's watch right. that damn show. No, you don't. Oh, but all right, I'm gonna pour. Are you gonna pour? Are we pouring? Let's yeah, pour. Sure, why not? Let's pour. So we've got the peated single malt. It's forty-six percent. They don't give you a whole lot on the website. I saw tasting notes, but I ignored them because once I read the tasting notes, then I can't think of anything anymore. It's very light looking, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is. You know what? It's the gold range, and it's like a pale gold. Um, so again, 46% peated single malt. They don't tell you which. Are they peating the barley? Are they doing like... Um, they are not. You know, like, pe I do know they are not peating the barley. They don't do that. They don't do floor maltings. They, this has been in a cask that they got some from someplace else. They okay. poured their spirit into that cask post uh, standard maturing. Okay. And then they threw it into some other cask. I believe, don't quote me on this, Mr. Pendarin, whoever you Pendrin. are. Pendarin. Pendarin. Whatever. Uh, I believe it might be a Lafroy cask that they threw okay. this into for a while. So they're doing sort of the same thing that Balvenie did with their peated cask. Correct. Right. Yeah, they're they're just, just, yeah. They put it into a peated cask just to get the essence. The essence. The, the essence. essence of peat. And I went to high school with a guy, and his name was Pete Essence. And he had a brother, repeat. And I, <laughs> forget it. Come on. Get serious. Bang, bang. Are we smelling? Yeah, sure. Well, let's, let's just wave the color through again. Again, lovely, pale, golden color. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Looks pretty. It's very pretty. I'll put this over here to keep the camera focused on the whiskey, because that's what we're doing here. We are focusing on the whiskey and the nonsense. So yeah, I'm gonna go in. It's pretty light. It is. It's very light. I mean, I could barely, barely get the pee. Yeah, I agree with you. It's it's pretty light. There's a little bit there. Yeah, but it, it's more like herbal, which would which almost would make me think it's not a Lafroy cask. You what do you think? Like maybe more like a Kalila or. Maybe not even an Isla cask. Mm. Maybe mm. some like something from I don't know Highland Park or who knows. Mm. Lechegg. <laughs> Let's say Lechegg because it's fun to say. It is Lechegg's fun to say. Ardmore's not really fun to say, but it's good whiskey. No, Pandaren's fun to say. What do we think about the smell? Um, it smells. It's very light. It's it's very very, very light. Good. It's almost like like a light. Dare I say like maybe like grapey like. Uh, like a little bit of a grapiness to it on the background with a little hint of smoke. Definitely getting wood, ex-bourbon cask kind of thing. 
maybe it's, a little grassy. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's it's a very subtle. But I think that's their thing, though. They're not really like no, they're not hit you over the head. No. not at all. No, it's a, very, it's a subtle, refined. I would say, dare say, elegant. Whiskey. You know, the Welsh, the Welsh don't hit you over the head. They're not that no. kind of people. No, no. Yeah, it's very gentle. It's like it's it's, it's a very really like, gentle. It's it's very soothing smelling. And there's no what was it forty six percent? There's yeah. no. I don't even get a, a real alcohol burn in my no, in my nose in no. my nose. In your nasal passages. Right. I you know, the, nostrils. the Welsh language is very complicated. Is it? To people who speak English, like me and oh. you, who well, barely don't speak, speak English. We don't speak English. We speak American. There's lo- Everything has lots of letters, and they don't seem to go together. It looks like an eye chart. There's a, there's a town there in uh, uh, Wales that has like 26 letters. It's really, really? long. Yeah. Hmm. My parents went there when years ago. They took Why? a picture of the sign. They were on a tour, and they went to, oh, the, okay. U- they went to the UK. And this this town has like twenty six letters long. It's twenty six letters long. That's awesome. It's like the whole alphabet. That's fantastic. Can you understand that? It's like I can. It's a lot of letters. Do you you remember Sesame Street? I vaguely remember Sesame Street. Yes. Do you remember Big Bird? Yellow, tall. Yeah, the big yellow bird. Yeah. But he had right. the, he had the song where he basically sang the alphabet as one word. I do recall that. Abkadavka zibidivka. Yes. Yeah, that. There you go. That's the town. Yes, except imagine that. Except Big Bird has vomited up all the letters out of order. <laughs> yes, yes, it's like a big jumble. A jumble. Okay. All right. Let's get back to the whiskey. See now, this well, is what you're doing, Mister. I'm going to time this thing. Now we're at ten minutes, <laughs> and we haven't done anything yet. <laughs> you know, that's the beauty of editing. <laughs> yes, and God knows I'm a slash and burn kind of guy. You are. Uh huh. Can we? Drink, right. Can Can we just drink this stuff already? Yeah, let's drink it because I'm having a hard time with this. The smell, it's just, it smells nice, but I just can't it's really nice. get, I can't pick it apart. Mm. It's got some heat to it. You it's read got my a little, mind. It's got a little burn. It has both. We and just, you know what we I got? Would, we got rope doped We got rope doped We got rope doped We got rope doped, doped. See? And doped. <laughs> We're a couple this of was, dopes. And we are a couple of dopes. And we've been roped in. Because this is way hotter. Oh, yeah. Way more smoky than the nose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, not even a freaking close mm. call. It is not what the label says. <laughs> it, it's not super smoky. No, but, but it's more, but I get more smoke on the palate than I get it on the nose. I, I would agree. It's, it's very subtle. Almost like a, like almost like a coal, kind of thing. Like they're like a coal-fired pizza. Yeah, interesting where those, analogy. Where you, get, where, where you get those little bits of char on the bottom of the crust. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's like really black, and you get those little yep. flavors. Almost like that. Not coal like tar, but like that kind of smoke. I it's would, not iodine. It's not the sea. No, it's so none I, of that. I would say it's like um, something spacey. Heated like uh, mm-hmm. Benria or okay. maybe even Balvini in their right. peat week thing. It's not, you know, this is a pretty low level of peat because they're not peat, it's not peated malt. Mm-hmm. It's almost like you've had those cocktails where they have a the little sprayer. Yes. And they put like a spritz of Lafroy in there. Yes. It's like a, uh, uh, a, penicillin? Dirty mar- a, dirty mar- a dirty martini with the spritz on the top of the uh, uh, Lafroy. Look, yeah. look at you. Look at you. I saw that half my, my wife uh, experienced that recently and then loved it. Uh-huh. So it's still light. It's not heavy. Yeah. No, 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 it's not. But it's they're definitely like peppery or like black pepper. Definitely peppery. Definitely a little bit of spice. Um, you get any vanilla? Maybe just a touch of vanilla? Yeah, maybe. The short, very short aftertaste. I mean, it's gone pretty quick. It doesn't linger. Well, that's not true. There's a little bit of linger. And that, that's where I'm getting this um, acidic sort of vinegary thing. Did you give it a chew? I gave it a chew. It's a, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty nice. It's, it's very nice. nice. But it's a it, it's it's unique. It's you not think like our what I'm thinking of in standard single malt. Scotch so, single malt. Let's say peat monster. You think this is like a couple of notches below peat monster in terms of smoke? Oh, much, much more. Below. Yeah. 
Okay. I, I get a little bit of sweetness though. I get like a little bit of sugar, maybe a little bit of vanilla on the, you know, when I was chewing it. But still, there's still that pepperiness. It's kind of like the dominant thing. And then comes a little bit of smoke and then all that other stuff. That pepperiness is really interesting because mm. I didn't expect it. It's not overpowering. I mean, it's not like, no. oh, my God, this isn't no. like a beach over the head whiskey. No. No, it's not. But and it's – go ahead. It's, it's definitely more intense than the other two that I've had, the Sherry Wood, the, the Sherry Wood and the Madeira. Madeira. I've had yeah, the Madeira they're, they're both fantastic. They're both really good. This so is I, nice, too. I don't – think i'd like it as much as the other two just because once they put the word peated on it i want more smoke mm-hmm. but i think that's more just me it's not a fault of the whiskey i agree you know yeah it's funny you say that because when you put the word peat on a label your immediate thought is peat right you're not thinking how much peat you're thinking it's going to be peated i'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to know it's peated and then you get whiskeys that are not hit you in the face, Pete. No, 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 no. Like no. this one. Right. And even even after now a couple uh, tastes of it, the smoke level hasn't changed to me. And it's it's mm-hmm. pretty it's pretty light. Right. It is. So this is as we said, it's it's in a cask cask, probably for a very short amount of time mm-hmm. that had peated whiskey in it like Lafroig or something, gets very subtle flavors from that cask. And this is what you get. Yes. And I think I think the getting's good. It's the good. Getting, the getting's good. What would a base aged Pandaren be though? If it's not a sherry or a Madeira, would it be like a bourbon cask? Yes. You think? So yeah, it, it it, which one which one of the other two that we have is the bourbon cask? Is that the oak? Uh, that is the, I think it's called the rich oak or something like that. Is that the rich oak? Okay. Yeah. So I'd be curious, to, because there really is, it's not like bourbon where there, there is only one way to make a bourbon. Well, I'm sorry, not one way, but there's only one way to age a bourbon, which is in a new, right? you know, a new barrel and all that. This is always going to be something else. Correct. So I, as, I, as I recall, that I think they pretty much use Buffalo Trace barrels. Okay. Yeah. So they're starting like everybody else with um, uh, bourbon bourbon casks. Wow, it's a good for, place to start. Yeah, and then they go to whatever wine finished cask, or in this case, some sort of peated cask for something different. Mm. Okay, so I think we like it. Yes, we like it. I agree. I think our, our dilemma is that it says peated, and we were expecting more peat than we got. Yep. yep. But again, that doesn't make it bad. I think it's just our expectations no. more than anything else. Yeah, I so, agree. That's that's us. I mean, the point is with these, the, much like with Kilhoman, which you know, hopefully we'll get we'll get to in a little bit. The base spirit tastes like it would just be fantastic off the scale. And we have heard from friends uh, Joshua Hatton and Jason blah 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 whatever his last name is this week <laughs> is that the base spirit at Pandaren, he's taller than you he i is, think he but can he's take a, it. but he's my friend the base spirit at from pandaren is fantastic mm. and i've not had any single uh right. any new make from them but uh-huh. i've heard them say it is crazy delicious mm. so we're seeing that you know yeah. it's a, it must be very good and then they're they're playing with some different kinds of casks for the finishing, and this is an interesting experiment. I like it. I, I think it is it the nature of the barley that is just because I've had maybe one or two new make barleys, and they taste really good. Like just at, on on their own, they well, would be I, a good white dog. Like I don't think bourbon on its own like isn't that great. It's not, and I so to answer your question, it's not just the barley; it's mm-hmm. the process. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's there's more going on. How long is it fermented? You mean you mean Joel Embiid? The per- he <laughs> exactly. That's an insider uh, NBA uh, joke. Nice. 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 Dude, yeah, trust the process. Always trust the process. Trust the process. And if the process yields a lovely spirit, such as what Pandaren's doing in lovely Brecon, is it Brecon Beacons Park National Park in Wales? Yeah, wow, well, I don't know. It's at the foothills. Of Breton Beacons Park, and it gets the water from you know the stream and all that good stuff. 
So if that's where they're, that's their process, I'm all for it. I trust them. Well, we didn't even get into this, but they've got this wacky still system uh -huh. that is unlike anything else in the world. That's mm -hmm. a whole different podcast, interview, YouTube thing, but we don't get into that. It gets complicated. You know what that means? You know what that means? Send us tickets. We'll come out. We promise. That's right. We will be happy to tour and yap. Learn, then yap. And then, your, and then drink. And, and drink. A lot. A yes. lot. So anyhow, I'm going, I'm going like, and it's more my expectations than the actual whiskey. I'm going like high, eight, I'm going like 89, 90 on this one. I don't think I liked it as much as the Sherry Wood and the Madeira. I think they were a little bit a, a notch or two above this in terms of what, what, I, what I'd like from these guys. Mm -hmm. So that's where I'm at. How about you? Uh, hi, well, um, without giving a number, um, I would say it's, it's a definitely a B plus because I like letters. It's definitely a B plus, A minus. Hey, by the way, we were supposed to keep this one short. Did it work? No. We failed? We ah, have enough. We have absolutely. enough. Absolutely. Absolutely. But you know what? That's what the cutting room floor is. The cutting room floor. Yep. I'm gonna break out the uh, I'm gonna break out the carving knife for this one. <laughs> Ouch. Slasher. Yep. Slasher ah. floor. Slasher. Yes. Yes. All right. We done well. All right, sir. Adios. Salute. Salute. Cheers to Pendaren. And thank you Cheers. to Impex for Slasher. hooking this up. Ciao, boys. Ciao.